Over the past four years, the changing world has changed us. But the ways in which we've changed have also changed the world. While the world acted on us, we acted on the world. We were not and are not passing or convincing. The resilience, integrity, and passion which has characterized our response to issues on an individual, local, and global scale is inspiring. Whether it was by traveling to a different city or state to advocate for certain causes, going to serve those in other countries, organizing projects and drives to help community members, leading a club, or making art, we've shaped not only ourselves, but our community in beautiful ways. This isn't to say we didn't face adversity or struggle and sometimes fail to achieve our dreams. But what our time together has proven is that it's not what we experience that defines us, but how we react to it. There will be, and have been, times when we respond to situations in ways we regret. However, I believe those moments can be invaluable lessons. As the artist Augustus Rodin once wrote, nothing is a waste of time if you use the experience wisely. Regardless of how we spend them, we still have the chance to use the experiences of these past four years wisely. As we leave this place and venture into a new phase of life, we won't be able to control or predict the joys and hardships that come our way, but we will have the freedom to choose how to respond how to learn, grow, and love in the face of any obstacle. Such freedom confers significant responsibility, but it also gives me so much hope for the future. It's because of this that I believe the challenges we'll encounter in the years ahead aren't things to be dreaded or feared. Rather, they're something to be embraced. Thank you again, and congratulations, class of 20. First and all, it's gratitude. So, teachers, staff, mentors, family, friends, and everyone else who has helped us throughout these past four years, thank you. We could not have gotten here without the love and support that you have given us. Class of 2023, people always talk about four ways and how when one door closes, another opens. But there's an anonymous quote that, honestly, I like better. When life shuts a door, open it again. It's a door. That's how they work. We've gone through a lot. Difficult classes, day-to-day -day struggles, changing friendships, school shutdowns, and the losses of our hard classmates. There have been a lot of doors that have closed in our faces, but we opened those back up again. We chose what was most important to us, and we fought for it. We built our own doorways when we had to. The challenges we grappled with are only the beginning of our story. The rest is up to us. Class of 2023, we get to choose our next steps and our next door. We've made it this far. We can take on whatever comes next. College, trade school, internships, gap years, jobs, the military, you name it. As the author Maggie Smith father says, although college seems like a lifetime, it is only four years. Four years is only a lifetime if one is a guinea pig. I hope this isn't news to anyone, but we are not guinea pigs. No matter what adventure is ahead of you, it doesn't encompass the rest of your life. It's just one more step to explore who you are and the impact you want to make. Sure, we've had some rough years class of 2023, but we've also had some really great times together. We had sunsets and sunrises, football and field days, snack runs and socializing, programs and 
And now, as we graduate, we can let go of what brings us stress and take care of ourselves. We can enjoy life and try new experiences. We can give ourselves permission to really live and open any door that we want. Here's to us. We did it.